Today we have a physics question of the day and it asks water is flowing through a pipe. Which section will have the highest pressure? And we assume that this is an ideal fluid. Um, and so we're just comparing A to B to C to D. This is a pretty high yield question on the MCAT. It's something that the MCAT loves to test. Um, and the concept is Bernoulli's equation. And what is that? That's P1 plus rho G H1 uh. All right. So what this is saying is pressure plus the potential energy plus the kinetic energy is conserved. Um, and so rho is the density of the liquid, H is the height, and V is the velocity. Uh, so the way we want to solve this is we want to see what the effects of height and velocity are on pressure. So what we do, or how I'd like to solve this, um, is you set the one side to zero. You just set it as a reference. Um, and you just say something like this. Right? So if we were to, in and we always want this to be zero. So if we increase the height, right, what would have to happen to the pressure in order to keep this constant? We would have to lower the pressure. When we increase the velocity, keep the height constant, we would also see a decrease in pressure for similar reasons. If we want to keep this constant, this entire um, term constant, and we're increasing the velocity, we're going to have to decrease the pressure in order to compensate. All right? Now let's see, what if we increase the height and increase the velocity? Well, we're definitely going to see a decrease. And if we decrease the height, decrease the velocity, we'll see an increase in pressure. In order to get the maximum pressure, we're going to have to decrease everything. So we're going to have to be at the lowest point, and we're also going to be the slowest. So low and slow equals a high pressure. High and fast equals a low pressure. Okay, so that's one thing to remember. Um, so now you may think, okay, so for sure we know that something that's low with a very slow speed is going to have a high pressure. So how do we know if it's fast or slow? So this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to say that um, because it's an ideal fluid, we know that the flow rate is going to be the same, which says A1 V1 equals A2 V2. So this says that when the cross-sectional areas, these are A, cross-sectional areas, and velocity are related, directly related. Um, so when we increase the uh, area, we're going to have to decrease the velocity. Um, so remember, we wanted a slow velocity. So we wanted something that was very slow and also low to the ground. So that means we would want, in order to get something slow, we would want a very big cross-sectional area. Right, so we would want something, if we compared, let's say, this to this, this would definitely have a very um, high pressure compared to over here. Because it it's, uh, has a bigger cross-sectional area, means the velocity is slower. Velocity is slower means that it's going to have an increase in pressure. Uh, so let's just write that down. Increase in area equals um, a decrease in velocity, which will correlate to an increase in pressure. Um, so if we look back to our question, we want something that has the highest pressure, so we're going to want something that is fat and also low to the ground. And so we see that A fits that perfectly. A is fat, so it's going to be very have a very low velocity and also a very high pressure. But it's also low to the ground, so it's going to have an increased pressure. So everything is related to that. Um, so now let's see, what if we wanted to change this question and we want to find what has the lowest pressure? So A has the highest pressure. What has the lowest pressure? All right, so let's try that. Um, so what has the lowest pressure? We're going to see that um, with that same equation. In order to decrease the pressure, we're going to have to increase everything here. So we're going to want something that is very tall high off the ground, but also something that has a high velocity. Okay, so a high velocity, remember from A1, V1 equals A2, V2, right? A high velocity, so if we have a high uh, velocity, we're going to have a very small cross-sectional area because they are inverse. 
So something that has a low area equals a high velocity equals a low pressure, right? So we're going to want to find something that has the lowest cross-sectional area and is also tall up in the air. And so what would that be? That would be C. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.